So today we're going to do some examinations on placentas. We have two placentas from two foals that were born last night. So I've laid them out with the allantoic side out. So they're inside out basically. Um, I find this way easier to see that they're complete. So the most important thing is that the whole placenta is here. So this is the amniotic sac that goes around the foal inside the placenta. And this is the placenta. This is the body of the placenta and these are the horns. These are the where the uterine horns would be. The thicker horn is the horn that the baby is in when it's inside of the mare. And the thin horn here is the non-pregnant horn. And generally, if you have a tear, it's going to be in this horn because the material is much thinner. So you want to check it all over very carefully and make sure that there's no tears whatsoever. So there is a tear here, but you can see that it's just sort of ripped and there's no missing pieces. So the biggest thing is that we don't find any holes, any holes in the placenta where there could still be a piece of it inside the mare because mares can go septic very quickly. So we have the two horns and the body of the placenta. This is the umbilical cord. That's where it would have been attached to the baby. So this placenta is quite normal. Uh, the baby would have broken out over here. And if you turn it inside out, I guess right side out, you can see the coloring. So this is fairly normal. This has been sitting in a bucket for almost 24 hours. So this brown color is not 100% normal, but that's just because it's been sitting there. Um, you wanna see the nice deep red normal color of the placenta. So the other thing you can do if you wanna make sure there's no holes is you can take it like this, put a hose out and fill it with water. And if you have any water spilling out, then you'll know where your holes are. So over here we have another placenta. The mares are the same size and the babies were the same size. So if you come over closer, I'm gonna show you some differences. This placenta is a slightly abnormal one. It has some thickening in the placenta itself. It has some thickening here, and it also has some thickening in the sac as well. So this sac is about twice as heavy as that other normal sac over there. Um, the foaling was normal, the foal itself is normal, the mother is normal, um, but this thickening of the allantoic sac is not normal. Um, it could be a sign of early placentitis. Uh, it could be just a sign of some dietary imbalances. So if you have a placenta with any sort of abnormality, that's something that you might want to call your vet about. So again, that's our pregnant horn. This is our non-pregnant horn. And you can see that it is still a little thinner than the pregnant horn. And then this is the body, the uterine body, and it still has some thickening as well through the body, but there are no missing pieces. Here's the umbilical cord. And if I turn this inside out, you can see still that nice dark red color. Um, this placenta had some tiny little vesicles of fluid attached to it. And I think that they may have all fallen off. Uh, they're, they are normal, but they are rare, so they just look like tiny fluid-filled balls on the outside of the allantoic side of the placenta. Um, other than that, just the thickening of that placenta is something I would keep an eye on. We'll keep an eye on that mare to make sure that she's not having a temperature and showing any signs of sickness. And yeah, so you can either look at your own placentas if you have a good idea of what you're looking at or save them for your vet to look at, but it's very important that somebody examines the placenta after the foals are born.